In this week's lesson, we will take a look at a souk. A souk is an Arab marketplace or bazaar. The souks of Marrakesh lie in the heart of the city and have been a center of trade for more than a thousand years. Over 3,000 stalls line the old city's narrow streets, selling just about everything from foods and spices to clothing and cookware. Take a look at the picture. See if you see some things that you might recognize. I see woven baskets, I see rugs, I see hats, and this is just one of the many stalls that await inside for the, uh, the people who visit the souk. If you want to see what walking around a souk would feel like, be sure to check out the video posted below this one to see a walking tour of Marrakesh's Old Medina souk. While you're watching, see how many of these items you can spot. Make it like a scavenger hunt. Maybe you can find some Moroccan slippers. Look for the yellow ones. See if you can find yellow. A tagine pot to cook delicious food in. A lantern. They come in many beautiful colors. Spices, such as saffron. A tea kettle, silver and a rug that is hand woven. How many of these items are you able to find in the walking tour of the old Marrakesh Medina soup? Let's start by talking about tagine. It's one of Morocco's most famous foods. This delicious North African stew is cooked in a very special clay pot that has a tall cone shaped lid. Souks in Morocco are filled with colorful tagine pots for people to purchase. Some are colorful and painted on the outside, and others are just like red clay pots. Couscous is a popular dish that originated with the Amazic people of Maghreb region, which includes Morocco, Algeria, and Tunisia. If you look at the picture on the right, you can see the couscous is at the bottom. It is a type of grain that is similar to rice, but has a very different taste. You will also see lots and lots of vegetables used in a tagine. This particular tagine does not have any meat in it. I do see hmm, some zucchini and some garlic and some chickpeas. And oh my goodness, this looks delicious. One thing you might not have seen in that tagine were the spices that were used. Morocco is very known for the delicious flavor of many of their dishes. In a tagine, you might find many spices that you wouldn't find here in the United States. The Moroccan spices have a unique smell. The spices can be found from dried fruits, seeds, bark, roots, or plants. Spices are used to add color to food, flavor to food, and to preserve it. Some spices can also be used for medical reasons. For example, did you know that garlic is often used as an antibiotic for when someone is sick? The concept of drying spices originated from the Middle East where refrigeration did not exist long ago. The Moroccan spices today are even used worldwide and you can find dishes sprinkled with them in cities across Europe, America, and the Middle East. One of the things that many people purchase when they go to a souk is spice. They will look for various spices that they will use in the delicious meals that they will cook. Let's do a little exploring and learn about some of these spices. I wonder if any of these spices are spices that you have heard of, or maybe your parents might even have them at home. The first is my absolute favorite. Moroccan mint tea is a very popular beverage in Morocco. It's not just meant for drinking. It is meant for sharing and it is a symbol of hospitality and family in Morocco. Moroccan mint is steeped along with a Chinese green tea that is referred to as gunpowder tea and sugar.
Once it is steeped, the tea is poured from a great height into glass cups to be enjoyed throughout the day and especially when you have visitors come over. There is a ritual to making the Moroccan green tea, and it is highly regarded as part of the Moroccan culture. During various times throughout the year, other herbs are added to the tea to aid in maintaining good health and to be used as a kind of medicinal tea. Below this video, you will find a video of someone pouring Moroccan tea. It is quite an interesting thing to watch and a very difficult thing to learn how to do. Cayenne is most known in Morocco as Ferbla. It is simply red hot chili pepper used to flavor dishes. Cayenne can also be used for medical reasons. As you can see, it starts as a red pepper and is dried and ground into the pepper that we buy in the stores. Ah, here is one that I recognize easily. This is cinnamon. How many of you have heard of cinnamon? Well, I was shocked to learn how cinnamon was made. It is not a plant. It is not a leaf. It is not any of those things. And it certainly does not grow in a bottle on a shelf. This is where cinnamon comes from. Cinnamon is also known as carfa in Morocco. Cinnamon is found widely across the country in many souks. When you go shopping at the souk, you may find cinnamon for sale. The green flowers have a unique smell. The fruit is usually purple. Its flavor is caused by a sweet smelling essential oil that is the most significant part of the fruit. It is this oil that is extracted by pounding the bark, soaking in seawater before quickly distilling the mixture. Cinnamon has been in use for thousands of years, but somehow it is still one of the priciest spices around today. It was used in ancient times as gifts to kings. In Moroccan cuisine, cinnamon is used to add flavor to meat-based dishes such as lamb as well as in grains such as couscous and raisin dishes. The spice consisting of dried inner bark is brown in color and has a delicately fragrant aroma and a warm sweet flavor. Cumin, kamun, is a flowering plant. Cumin seeds are the ones that are used as spices because of their unique smell. The use of this spice varies among Moroccan families. Not everybody uses it, but many do. It is typically used in all types of tagines, including lamb, chicken, as well as vegetables. It is also used as an appetite booster. The seeds are grounded and then sprinkled on meat and kebabs. It can also be used in flavoring couscous too. Turmeric or kakum is a dried root. It is easy to find because it is bright yellow and it looks similar to ginger. They are also similar in size and its flavor resembles a combination of pepper and ginger smashed together. Turmeric is used as a food coloring spice in Moroccan cuisine for dishes such as rice and tagines. Turmeric is commonly used for conditions involving pain and inflammation such as arthritis. Did you notice a lot of these spices can also be used to help you when you are sick? Coriander. Coriander is an herb that started in North Africa and Southwestern Asia. It might look familiar to you because here we use the leafy part of the vegetable or this herb and we don't call it coriander. We call it cilantro. How many of you have eaten cilantro before? Well, this spice is usually found by drying the ripe fruit of the herb. The seeds, they're usually a tannish brown, have a sweet smelling lemony flavor. Coriander is usually used as an appetizer in Moroccan dishes for things such as lentils, 
potatoes, onions, beans, and pastries. Boy, I learned something new today. This one is called paprika. Paprika is made from grounded, dried, sweet green or red bell peppers. The spice is used in many dishes to add flavor and color. In Morocco, paprika is used in many tomato dishes as well as in salads. The spice ranges in smell and taste from very sweet to mild to hot. Wow, this one shocked me. Black pepper. This is something I use every day, and I had no idea where pepper came from. To me, it always came in a little jar that I bought at the grocery store. But black pepper is a flowering vine. You can see the picture here of the green leaves. The spices found from the fruits of the plant after they are dried and grounded. You can see the little seeds of this fruit on the plant in the picture. Sometimes the spice can be called black pepper, white pepper, pink or red pepper, as well as green pepper. In Moroccan food, black pepper is used in lamb tagines and in salads. I did not know that peppercorns grew on vines. Did you know this? And our last spice is called nafa or aniseed. It originated from the Eastern Mediterranean and Southwestern Asia. This spice is mostly used in Moroccan dishes, such as stews and as well as in baking bread. The sweet and aromatic, that means it smells really good, taste of aniseed is due to the licorice-like component found in the plants. If you love black licorice, this is a spice that you will love. Well, that is all that we have for today. I hope you had fun learning about some of the different spices and things that you might find in a Moroccan souk. Here is a recipe for a traditional chicken tagine. You will find the ingredients listed as well as the five steps that you need to complete the recipe. If you'd like, you could stop the, the video and pause to screenshot the recipe or the recipe is listed in the slides below where you can download. You will need to gather many fruits and vegetables as well as a few things before you begin. Please make sure that you ask a parent before beginning something like this. This might be a fun thing for you and your family to work on together. But of course, it is not mandatory. This is just a fun way to extend our lesson and to learn about some food that you might not have tried before. You never know, you might enjoy something new and find a new favorite dish. Well, that's it for today. Shukran, thank you for watching, and I cannot wait to see you back here next Monday when our next lesson drops. In the meantime, be sure to check out the Global Studies page below to find out some very fun things that you could do to fill your time this week. If you get bored, be sure to check out some of the things below. Take a walking tour of a souk. You can also find the recipe that was shared before and make sure you go watch the video to practice counting counting in Arabic from 1 to 10 with Aya. Aya is a fifth grader at Ridgeview and she so kindly volunteered to make a video to teach our students how to count from 1 to 10. She, this is a great way for you to practice. Also, there is a video about argan oil. Argan oil is a very special oil that grows in Morocco. And there is a video that explains what this argan oil is used for and how it was extracted from the plant a long time ago. You will probably enjoy this video. All right, guys, that's it for today, and I will see you next Monday. Goodbye.